Recently, I had the chance to talk to some seasonal workers. Apparently, the seasonal workers are still coming in. They were uh, employed by one particular company that he was working as a, a lifeguard. So I was, I was, uh, you know, baffled actually because these seasonal workers are petitioned to work for their companies as lifeguards or workers in one time. I met some people that were petitioned on the basis of that visa to work in a restaurant. Does that mean, Attorney Golan, that uh, we do not have enough people to get these jobs, the ones who are here? Today, we don't have enough people for any job. Really? Wow. Yeah, maybe except immigration lawyers. <laughs> for, for we have an, an overabundance. <laughs> so that means the hospital. Except, yes. mm -hmm. except for that, there's a shortage for any jobs. Wow. And there's no reason why people will be jobless because because they're choosing the jobs, right? But uh, I wonder, because this gentleman who was working as a lifeguard uh, requested, say, but how can we extend? Because he kind of liked it here. The people that I've been talking to, they like, you know, working in the United States. So how long is that visa? What do you call this visa? How long can they stay? And what can they do to extend it? I I assume, I, I, I cannot, I don't know the facts, but I assume that this was a special type of J-1 visa. Mm -hmm. There is a special type of J-1 visa that is issued what we give for, for summer jobs. I see. And this, this is not issued by the immigration service. It is issued by the Department of State. Oh. Okay. And and and, uh, and uh, for this uh, there are some companies here uh, who specialize in in uh, in placing people in such uh, temporary jobs like in in uh, in seasonal hotels or restaurants, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yes, re resort resort places, mm -hmm. or like you say, lifeguards, which yes. is probably only a sum only a summer job, okay. And those people are permitted to stay here for a short duration, for several months, mm -hmm. to do this summer job. Mm -hmm. So is there a way when they can extend this, or definitely they would have to leave the country after the uh, termination of their contract? It could be extended if, they have, uh, if this company is able to provide them with, a, with another seasonal job. But, mm -hmm. uh, but and most of them are not. And seasonal could be only summer, or could it also be during the winter time, like in the ski resorts? Could be the winter time. Like I in see. Ski resorts. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's right. Yes. So because they were telling me that what they earn here in six months, they will earn in where in their original country. You know, after a lifetime. I mean, I, it was a pitiful situation. I and mean, they said just a few months here, they really enjoy the opportunities and they they like the idea of being able to, you know, send money home. So they were looking for ways and means said, oh, we'd like to extend our stay. So that's the question. So I'm sure they're listening to this uh, interview and that is it. You can always call 213-383-3222. But if you're in the East Coast, you can also, you know, look for, as you suggested, Attorney Golan, uh, is, it, is it better for someone to retain the services of a lawyer where they are from, or can they retain the services of an outside? Lawyer, lawyers don't, don't deal with this kind of a visa. Oh. Those companies, those companies do it in a, in a wholesale manner. I see. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, I would like to, to 